Good morning friends. So today's lead code problem is lead code problem number 1 to sum. Here the question is given an array of integers nums and an integer target return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target. Have a input array nums with some values okay and the target is 9. That means there are two numbers whose sum should be 9 okay. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 right. So, we need to return the output as the index of those corresponding numbers. For example, two index of 2 is 0 and index of 7 is 1. So, we need to return a list of that indexes. So, in the example 2, we have a nums array with the values 3, 2 and 4 and the target is 6. So, we need to check which two numbers will get the sum 6. Okay. So, here the answer is 2 plus 4 equal to 6 and we need to get the output something like 1 and 2. Right. I will explain this problem in two ways. First, we will go through the easiest solution that is brute force approach. And then we will uh, understand how we can optimize that solution in a better way using hash map. In this approach, we will check every possible pair of numbers in the array to see if they add up to target. Here you can see I wrote a list of numbers 6, 1, 5 and 3. So, here the target is 4. That means in this list, there are two numbers whose sum is okay we need to find out which are those numbers clear so in this brute force approach first i will take this number six okay so i will take this number six and i will compare this number six with these all numbers i mean with the five with the one uh, with three these all numbers i will check okay so for example i will check first six plus one the six plus one is a four or not and next i will check six plus five Next, I will check 6. So, here in this brute force approach, we will first take the first element and will check with all the remaining elements is the sum is 4 or not. I mean the target or not. So, in this case, 6 plus 1 is not 4 and here also not 4 and 6 plus 3 is also not 4. Okay. So, this is wrong. Now, we will go for the next element. I mean this 1. Okay. And we need to check with the 1, with the 5 and 3, right? We all we already done this 6 plus 1. So, we no need to go back. Okay? We need to compare 1 with the remaining elements. I mean 5 and 3. So, in this case, we can check like 1 plus 5 is a target or not. Also, 1 plus 3 is target or not. First, we will check 1 plus 5 is a target or not. So, we found that uh, 1 plus 5 is uh, not the target. But we found... 1 plus 3 is the target, right? We need to just return the index of this 2. I mean this 1 and 3. So, the output is something like 1 and 3. When we are going to implement uh, this problem using this method, we need to use two nested loops. For example, in this case, you know, first we are going for each element, right? First, I am uh, taking the first element in my array. Then I need to check uh, that element with all the remaining elements, right? So, we need to use two nested loops. Because of that, uh, the time complexity should be like order of n square, right? So, the time complexity is order of n square and we are uh, here we are not using any extra additional memory for uh, solving this problem. Space complexity of order of 1. First, we are uh, going to solve this problem using this brute force approach. So, in this problem, I told we need to use two for loops, right? So, first for loop is for to take the uh, each element, okay? So, initially, it will be 6 and it will compare with the all other elements. So, here first initially, I will be here, right? So, next checking is with this all element, this three elements, right? So, here j should be i plus 1, right? Where is i? We need to start from the next element. So, here I can write something like 4 j in a range of i plus 1. I think you got the clarity like why I used i plus 1. And we need to check till the end, right? So, here also like this only length of nums. So, now I need to check this nums of i plus nums of j equal to target or not. Okay. So, for that I can write if uh, nums of i plus uh, nums of j equal to target. 
if it is equal to target then we go the output right we just we need to return the index of that element so we can simply return i comma j now i will uh, run this code and submit this code so you can see uh, the complexity is order of n square it will show so we we'll, we seen how brute force approach works and it has a time complexity of order of n square right so now we will uh, look a uh, more optimized solution for this problem using hash map hash map is a key value pair value and index will be there so how i am going to uh, solve this problem is i will take the target i mean here the target is 4 right i will take the target and i will subtract uh, the numbers from the list uh, from this target for example in this case 4 minus 6 okay so we can say this the answer is something like a complement right like uh, minus 2 okay so then i will check if this minus 2 is in this hash map or not okay so in this case minus 2 is not in the hash map if it is not there we need to add this corresponding element this 6 into uh, this hash map and i need to put the index here the index is zero right a target and i'm subtracting from this element like one here we are getting a value the complement is three and we are checking if three is in the hash map or not so here it is also not there so what we need to do we need to just add that element in this hash map so here one is the value and one is the index okay and now i am again checking like four is uh four minus five so here i am getting a minus one right and we are checking is minus one is in this hash map no so we need to add this element five also here with the index uh two right now i am going to check with this uh, element like uh four minus uh, three okay so here four minus three is one right so we need to check is one is there in uh, this hash map yes one is there right this one is there so we need to we got the result right so what we need to do is we need to return the index of this one and he this value uh, we got the number here and the current number that is this one okay so we need to just return the index i mean the index is like this one uh, so we need to return one and three okay so here the benefit is we only traverse to the array only one time right we no need to use two nested loops as we did before we in one iteration we we go the output but the thing is we are using one extra memory right we are using a hash map here you can see that we only traverse to the array on time right so here the complexity i mean the time complexity is order of n only but here we used a hash map to store this value and index right that because of that uh, that space complexity is order of n so here what i'm going to do is i'm declaring a hash map hash map we are using dictionary right so i'm declaring a dictionary and there is one function we need to get the number as well as the index right so in python there is also a function like enumerate okay so we can get the index as well as the number so i can say enumerate then that list name right our list name is nums okay first we need to find out this complement here this is the complement right so we need to find out this complement so for that i am writing a uh, complement equal to um target minus num okay that is uh, this target minus this number and we need to check if that complement is in the hash map then we need to uh, just to simply return the index here we can uh, check that also here like if uh, this complement in this hash map right is it in hash map or not so we can check like this then what we need to do we need to simply uh, return right like hash hash map of complement right so the index of that uh, corresponding number will return and also here this index is i right so i will return something like this clear if it is not there if it is not there then we need to add that element into this hash map right if that is not there then we need to add that element into this hash map 
So here we can add something like this hash map of num okay equal to id. and submit this i hope you got a clarity about how this do some problem works so here the time complexity is order of n and space complexity is also order of n so that's it for today thank you for watching have a nice day